Let's get to our game of the week. Panorama has fired out of the starting blocks like Usain Bolt. 93 points in two games. Meanwhile, the Roadrunners of Interstate 35 have been consistent. Two wins, both holding opponents under 14 points. Something had to give in our Friday Night Blitz game of the week. Let's head out to I-35 Truro. The Roadrunners. They're pretty good. Panorama, I expected their offense to come flying out of the gate, but Luke South going to be wrapped up by Grant Richardson off the end for the Roadrunners there. Nobody getting to him. Then third and 24, Luke South gobbled up in the backfield again by a slew of Roadrunners, forcing the punt ensuing drive for I-35. Mason Cassidy, housing it, spins out of the arm tackle, and see you later. Roadrunner for sure. Yeah, Tasmanian Devil would not catch Cassidy, <laughs> that's for sure. I'll take it to the end zone for the first score of the game. Roadrunners get the ball back, try to get it going again. Richardson on the end of the round, pops it up, recovered by Grayson Welberg, but after another panorama punt, Roadrunners take the ball into the second quarter number, or I'm sorry, jo Joey Breger. Back to pass, gets wrapped up by Trey Cobb, but Look at this. Oh, the, the big, big line. Oh, you got to love that. What an INT. Antonio Arzani. And that would set up this pitch and catch from seven yards out. Bragger finding Richie Griglione. Richie talked to him this morning. Good dude. Yep. Real good good team. Miss Guess what? I-35 getting over that week three hump. You That's mentioned right. that. 34 to 13, a big win for the Roadrunners to stay perfect. Bigger. Yeah, Regina and hosting Pella Christian. Really cool. Both teams in the Dome last year and Marv Cook and the boys. They're hard to beat all the time. Now they're going for field goal here, but it's blocked. And Josh Atkinson from the Eagles is going to take this almost to the house, gets into the red zone, and then Dan Jungling is going to make it happen, right? Right after the turn up? Nope, he's picked off. So back to back turnovers. And then Regina is playing good D, but the fans just. They're big there. They, 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 love their, they love their team. Regina trying to find Noah Tremor. This is one of the toughest, you know, individuals. He's hard to bring down. Yeah. Look at his effort, but Woo. sometimes too much effort gets you a turnover, and it does there. And now the Regals are in business. And Scott Arndt, the quarterback, just says, I'll keep this. How you doing? Are those I'm, new lids for the Regals? Yeah, they got a lot of swag going on there. I don't know what's <laughs> don't going on. Know how I feel I'll have to it. talk to Marv about that. Yeah. Now jungling, making it happen. And you know Trimer is a special player, and he comes back, makes a special play here. He's gone. Just the Eagles, one. after be, getting beat by Van Meter, go into Iowa City, get the job done with the big victory. Wow, Coach Cat. Big feather in the cap. Yeah, that might be a game ball right there. Absolutely. All righty. Well, speaking of Van Meter, taking on Madrid tonight. The Tigers in the jungle. Quarterback Anthony Pothoff here. Well, let's get the kickoff underway first because Anthony Pothoff is worth a look. An impressive pass to the end zone. Yeah. Just dropping dimes. Even better catch. Oh, Barely caught by Zach Drummond. That touchdown brought the game up to 41 to zip with Van Meter ahead by just a hair. Here's another touchdown by Pata. Just makes it look so easy, but that doesn't mean that Madrid didn't have valiant effort tonight. Here's the Madrid defensive line stopping. Cheerleaders are ready to go. I mean, they're ready. Ian Abrahamson waiting for something. This kid's a big back, but you know, Madrid, young team again this year. They're going through some growing pains. Van Meter just rolling tonight, though. Big another win. Shout out. 53 wow. to zip. Wow, they continue to roll, boys. Let's stay in class. Class 1A South Hamilton uh, visiting Woodward Granger. Class 1A. We have an attempted pass by Woodward Granger. Of course, we got to get the, the shot of the bleachers, right? Yeah. yeah there we go. Uh, Granger. That was this was quickly swatted by South Hamilton's Jeremiah Smith. The fumble was picked up and walked into the end zone. That brought the score to six. Went for two there. South Hamilton. Yep. There we go. Okay. Zero. That's yeah. Six zero. Woodward Granger. Okay. After the touchdown, South Hamilton's Sam Lewis ran the extra point and bringing the score. Okay, here we go. Now we're moving ahead. Guys. All right, we're, we're on top. We are Kate on top of there. there. That was Woodward Granger. Granger. Here we go. Okay, Woodward Granger had the ball after that. A long pass to Kale Pritchett was intercepted at one yard line. Nice at the one yard play. line uh, by South Hamilton's number 23, Colburn. South Hamilton, Jewel. They lose 11 to 8. What is Woodward this? Woodward Granger. Baseball score. Right. <laughs> well, Woodward Academy, I'm going to apologize to Coach now because I can't got there and it was already 34 yeah. to 6. He's waiting for all these he highlights. Them, but <laughs> Blue Devils looking for a sign of life. Jack Franey on the quarterback keeper at the PAT. 34-13. Hey, the only highlights I had were the final four plays you had before halftime. Coach, I'm really sorry. Um, some some strong runs <laughs> and then a turnover on downs, but hey. We'll go, we'll go to huddle and get the rest of it. Yeah. Back-to-back -back wins <laughs> for Woodward Academy. 48-13 over Martinsdale St. Mary's. Congrats on that 